Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the Digital Imaging Group. I thought it would be useful if I just show you around at what we do. And this is aimed mainly at international members. Some of you may already be Digital Imaging Group members and some may not. And there are things that we do for both of you. So it's not um, necessary for you to be a member for you to benefit from everything that we do. The group was started back in 1996 when digital imaging first started to become popular with amateur photographers. Um, and it was a self-help group in that, at that stage, but we've remained in the RPS as we are very active and very, uh, very well liked special interest group. And we're not genre specific. So therefore we are, uh, if you like, um, a catch all for everybody. So you don't have to be doing any specific type of photography to feel at home with us. We have 1700 plus members. And as you can see there, we offer two different types of membership. The only difference is if you're a full member, you get four printed magazines a year, but an online member gets, gets that um, same content, but they read it online, plus everything else that we do as well. And that is quite extensive. So if at any time you felt you wanted to ask any more questions of us, then there's my email address and you're very welcome to contact me at any stage. So let's have a quick look around the website because that will give us a lot of information about what we do. So here we are on the home page. And as you can see, we've got all these various sections on the, on the website, which we do keep up very, very actively because we are moving at such a pace all the time. So one of the things that's available to any person anywhere, whether you are an RPS member um, or not, are our webinars that we put on monthly. Now for um, an RP RPS digital imaging group member, they get these for free. For an RPS member, they pay a small fee, but they are extremely good, very high caliber presentations and well worth joining. If you register for one of these particular webinars, then we will send you a recording of it after the event. So if you can't watch, if you're not in the right time zone, it's not a problem because you'll get a recording the following day. So workshops we do, we have a very wide program of workshops that we offer. However, I would say the majority of them, it's better if you can do them online um, actively because it's, it's the participation with the tutors that's really important. However, there are some that we do that, we, that can work for you if you can't get online to do them. But they are, they are um, we, obviously everybody has to pay for those because we've got to pay for the tutor. So publications, now some of these are available publicly and some of them are for members only. So our Digit magazine, which you can see there on the left, is this beautiful magazine that comes out quarterly and that is only for our members. The other two publications are for anybody. They're, oh, they're here and they're publicly available all the time. So Accolade, for example, is a, a publication which celebrates our members' distinction successes. So when they've got gained a distinction, we talk to them, we take a, 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 an article from them and some of their images, and they tell us about their RPS journey. And this is at all levels. So whether it is a, a, a LRPS, ARPS, or a fellowship, the information is in here. And the good thing is, is not only are we celebrating this with the member who's just got their, um, let's say, FRPS, but equally, we can learn from them as we read these publications. So that's quite a valuable publication, whether you're an RP, uh, sorry, a digital imaging group member or not. Um, the other publication that we have is our online monthly publication, again, open to anybody to view at any time. And this one is general information about what's going on in the group, maybe winners of competitions. Um, there'll be articles from, from various uh, members. We also have information about AI and what's happening in the AI world. So it's quite versatile. And then right at the back of the, of the publication, we have adverts for um, events that are happening and going uh, and about to happen. So you can always see what's on that may be of interest to you there as well. So quite a useful publicly available publication. 
competitions. We do have two competitions a year, but they are for digital imaging members only. So one is an online competition um, and the other is print portfolio. Um, however, we do have a special arrangement for the print portfolio where we print the pictures for our international members. So if you're a member of the DIG, you can enter into that. We have an AI hub, so we keep you up to date with what's going on in AI. If we're going to have any presentations, et cetera, then we will announce it on that AI hub. And this is something else that we've been working on in the last year. And we're now inviting international members to join in on the Talk Walk Talk project. So you had separate information about that. Um, and I would encourage you to read it and engage because it's fun. And that's, let's face it, that's what we want to get out of our um, RPS membership. We want to engage with other people. We want to enjoy our photography and we want others to see our images. And that's a, really the whole ethos of what we try to do. You can contact any of the committee members at any time through this website. And we really do look forward to engaging with you and having you as a member of the RPS. So thank you for listening. And I do hope to see you on our list of members very shortly.